dancing has its own culture. If you want to join a group of dancers and enjoy their company, it is a good idea to follow the accepted costumes of their dance group. One of the ways you get accepted into a group is by the way you are dressed. Good morning students! Our early grab will happen a week from now. Get ready because you will be the best day of your lives. OMG! This is a major problem! I don't have anything to wear! Me neither! I can't disappoint my crush! Don't worry, my pals! I got your back! I think this one really looks good on me! I feel confident and comfortable! No way! That is not how you dress in a ball! Get a tailcoat and trousers. How can he impress his crush if he looks like that? Do I look okay? It's fine. You look like a human for the very least. But there's something missing. Is it my hair? Or my scent? Tell me! You need to get a tie. Is it okay now? Hmm, okay it's cool. The white tie is really nice choice since it's the most formal category of dressing. You can pair it with white gloves to look better if you want. Let's try another look, shall we? You forgot the black tie! You need a black tie so it will look elegant! I did not mean it literally. The black tie does not refer to the color of the tie. In fact, colorful ties are very popular nowadays. Let's try another look for you. I'd like to see you in a semi-formal attire. What will you do without me? That is not what I meant. Put on a dress shirt, dress slacks, and a tie. Hmm. You can also wear a jacket. Do I still need to wear that? Okay, fine. You do not need to. It's optional anyway. But if you want, you can wear a vest or a sweater. But remember, the tie must be shown. What other semi-formal attire can I wear? If you don't want to wear a tie, a turtleneck and jacket will do. Two hours later. Huh? Sis, are you going to attend the prom for juniors and seniors? When and where will that be? Tomorrow at Ethan's Joy, 8 o'clock in the evening. Is that so? I don't have anything to wear. It's not a problem. I can help you with that. I'll just wear my casual attire. What? No! Everybody are in their ball gowns, and you're just gonna wear jeans and shirt? Is that wrong? I don't have ball gowns or whatever. I'll dress you. Wait. Are you going? Of course I am. And you should too. Come on, let's go to the boutique. Pick a dress that you are comfortable with. Make sure that it won't show most of your skin. Noted! That suits you! Thank you! Can I see yours? Here! That's cute! So what's next? Come on, let's buy shoes! Can I choose the one that I can properly walk with? Of course! Always choose the one that you are comfortable with. We should wear some accessories. But maybe 
not too much because it may cause some harm for our partners. Maybe necklace and earrings will do. I agree with that. So I guess we're settled. Ready for tomorrow? Of course! This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. This is Madame Romina, and we are back to teach you guys how to dress in different dances. For country western dances, this is what you guys should do. Country Western attire has variation across the country, but generally it is acceptable to go in blue or black jeans and cowboy boots. Make sure that the boots will not mark on the dance floor. If you wear a hat, it may be a good idea to take it off when going to the floor. Note that Country Western's folks can be very sensitive about their hats. It is improper to touch or otherwise handle someone's hat, even if it sits on the table. For a lady to pick up and put on a gentleman's hat, it considered very flirtatious. For Argentine tangos, this attire will do. For both ladies and gentlemen, black or dark themes are preferred. For Latin, these are the best outfits to look good. Latin, this refers to venues that specialize in salsa, merengue, cumbia, and etc. For gentlemen, any button-up shirt, solid t-shirt, or mock turtleneck, just locks and dance shoes. Jackets are nice, but a vest can be even more stylish. Unlike most other dance venues, bright and colorful outfits for gentlemen are acceptable, although dark themes are more common. Ladies can wear sexy outfits, both shirt skirts and longer slit skirts are popular. Low necklines and exposed mid drifts are not uncommon. Lastly, these outfits are the best for swing. There are no strict rules for swing outfits. Both the gentleman and the lady wear outfits that are reasonably neat and chic, although often not very formal. Many types of swing are fast-paced and athletic, so wearing suitable clothing is essential. For example, the lady would be well advised to stay away from the short, tight skirts. See also the next section on comfort safety. A cute trend, especially in Lindy Hop, circles is to wear vintage outfits from the 1930s and 40s, but it is not done everywhere and it is not all a requirement. 